Do you believe in manifestation? Huh? Do you believe in manifestation? Yeah. Me too. Do you? Is that how you got here? This is literally how I got here. Well, I'm saying to like, like here, I was like, you know what? Like to Miami. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just, they're gonna pick me. My friend, he's a big basketball guy. It's like he texted me literally right after, right after, um, right after I think 60. He's like, Miami's gonna take you. No way. Yeah, it's just crazy out there, right? Isn't that wild? That is. Wow. It's meant to be. It's yeah. I was all in on this dream, and I was gonna do whatever I could to accomplish it. Best night of your life? Yeah, but it's more than that, man. It's more than just the best night of my life. I think it's it's the best night of my life because of everything that I did to get here. I've been playing basketball for as long as I can remember, um, and my biggest inspiration for that was probably Kobe Bryant. Who are you? Hello, Kobe. Who are you? Amy What are you doing? I'm dunking. What are you doing? I'm dunking. Who do you dunk like? Like Shaq. Like who? Like Shaq. Kobe Bryant and Shaq were two guys that I really look up to and admired. Kobe's killer mentality, that's something that I take into my basketball game. I take pride in that. And I always say half the battle is just wanting it more than the other guy. Tonight, we usher in the next wave of NBA players. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 NBA Draft. Draft day was the longest day of my life. I just remember it taking forever. With the first pick, ninth pick, 15th, 16th, 17th pick. That anticipation of not knowing where you're gonna go, it was so surreal, I can't really describe it. Who's gonna be the newest member of the Miami family? Jaime Paquez, Chilevis. With the 18th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Miami Heat select Jaime Jaquez Jr. from UCLA. It was just, it was so surreal. It was just so much emotion, you can't really describe it. To hear my name called, it felt like a dream and feels like I haven't woke up. Twenty years from now, what am I hoping to remember after this night? That it was well worth the wait. <gasps> Let's go! I'm feeling uh, incredible right now. Surreal, words can't describe it right now. Your parents, Jaime and Angela, are sitting with you. How proud are you of him in this moment? <laughs> oh my gosh, the words cannot describe how proud I am. We are, we just, this is his dream. He's carried a basketball around his whole life and he's dreamt about this and we just couldn't be more proud. My family means a lot to me. They mean everything. They've been my supportive group my entire career. They've been there for me when I needed them most, and uh, they're the reason I'm in this position today. Congratulations. Thank you, thank I love you, you thank baby you, boy. Appreciate Congratulations. Appreciate His goal was the NBA. Everyone, everyone has that goal, but for him to go out there and achieve, it's incredible just to watch and witness. Jaime, congratulations. Thank Welcome thank to the you. NBA Appreciate in the heat. Thank you, thank you. No problem. All righty. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> When your name gets called, all the emotions just come out and you really don't know how to feel. I was like, holy shit. I <laughs> like, can't use that. Okay, well, you can bleep it out. But that was going on through my head. This is crazy. Miami Heaters. Oh my God. It's crazy. It does. I think so too. The white, white hot. I'm just like soaking it all in. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it. Just like right here. Hi, Mahogany Jr., Miami Heat. Me, I'm me, me, I'm me, me, I'm me. Clothes on you. That's I was, I've only been there three times and it grew on me. Like you wouldn't believe, man. Didn't take much. Can we call it or do we call it? <laughs> oh my God. 
Uh, kidding me right now? That's much. Are you so happy or what is that? Unbelievable. 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 Now, nah, man, I was pulling for the heat the whole time, man. I can't even lie to you. Miami, that's a place I really wanted to go to. I mean, the culture, the city, like, the whole thing. That's what I'm saying, man. Coach Spolstra, a genius, like, Pat Riley. How we doing, Coach? How are you I'm, doing, Harvey? I'm on top of the world right now, man. This is well, it's incredible. We are, too. We're really delighted and excited that, uh, that you were there for us. I appreciate yeah. it, man. I just want to say thank you guys for taking a chance on me. I'm not going to let yeah. you guys down, man. This is going to be great. No, this is going to be great. That's, yeah, I know you're not. You're not going to let yourself down. Hell no. I stand for, and you're right on for what, uh, what we need. So I just wanted to welcome you in. All right, nice appreciate to, it. Nice, to talk. you nice talking to you, too. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Wow. I describe it as climbing your entire life up this big giant mountain and then you get to the top and then there's a roller coaster that you get on and you just keep going higher and higher and higher. I think that's like life, you know, hopefully you just keep going until you reach the top. So I don't know where the top is, but is this, maybe it's this, maybe it's more. I don't know, I'm gonna keep looking for it though. Start with landing in Miami. Oh wow, landing in Miami. Wow, that was crazy. I don't know how I made it to Miami. I just remember getting off the plane, and meeting with cameras. I was like, wow, it's really happening. And I got to the hotel, put on my suit, got ready for a press conference. Oh my God, he, you're on that. Oh my God. You know when. I was on, I was on, oh I was, my I god. I look, and like every time I watched the draft, I was like, bro, being a, a rookie for drafted is probably going to be like the best time of your life. <laughs> and I will have to say it. it's right. Arrive and then see Coach Bo and Coach Pat. I just remember shaking their hands. It was just, it was crazy because as growing up as a fan of basketball, those are two guys when you talk about basketball royalty, their, their names are in those conversations. And this is where you get after it. Yeah. Get your body going. He's my trainer for 27 years here. And uh, we call this the cult for him. They put us in a room. We worked out yeah. I mean, yeah. like, you worked out here? Yeah. I don't really know how to describe it. It just felt very surreal. Very surreal. Just to be a part of that and have those guys believe in me means a lot. I think getting my jersey and seeing it in the locker room was probably my favorite part of the day. I don't know if that's going to be your my locker, but right now, right now you can sit down. We built this back in 2000 when we built the arena, and the whole concept was obviously to be able to see each other. Yeah. This is where they did that, like video, the Harlem Shake video? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is their sanctuary. I don't ever come in here. You don't let anybody come in here. You know, like all the coach comes in. This is their place. <coughs> the players. I believe in that. Yeah. And maybe they're playing coy. Wow. How's it feel? See it. Crazy. This is, uh, this is unreal. That's a turnover right there. <laughs> <laughs> the only one we'll ever have. Yeah, only one ever. Wow. Number 11, he got a sister number. <laughs> I picked that number because that was my sister's number and I've always loved it. I'd always wear 24, she would wear 11, but I always liked the way it looked. Uh, we're very close, we talk all the time. You know, I'm glad that she followed my footsteps to UCLA. I mean, that's always where she wanted to go. So for her to be able to live out her dream um, and create her own legacy is super special and I can't wait to see what she does. Let's get some shots that way, look it down on it. We're gonna put Team Hawkins. I just want to you know, welcome them you know, to the Heat family. I know what this organization's about, and it, it's, about, it's, it's about toughness and willing to work and put in that work to become the best player that you could possibly be, and that's what I've always been about. Set the tone, set the tone, win on three, one, two, three, win. When it comes to the California Classic, we'll see some of the game's youngest, best, brightest stars, including Jaime Jaquez of the Miami Heat. He is the definition of Miami Heat culture. Jaquez with the counter, and the foul. Oh, 
That was nasty, Kyle. Summer League was awesome. It was a great experience just to be able to, um, you know, meet the guys, meet the staff, and put that jersey on for the first time was, was incredible. In transition, Peterson. Hawkins, yes, sir. Miami Hawkins, Jr. Player development has been off the chart the last couple days, and he's been working his tail off, hit the ground running with our program. Great player. He knows how to play basketball, and it's, it's easy to, you know, share the court with guys like that. To be able to be in the gym, be with the coaches, be with the guys, I was able to see them. We were able to build relationships, and I feel like I've ingrained myself into this heat culture. One thing we heard about Jaime Jaquez Jr. was his work ethic that heat culture work ethic. And there you go. You got the Hawkins three-point shot that we've been looking for. Jaime Hawkins Jr., Pac-12 Player of the Year. Those four years at UCLA prepared me better than I think anything else could. Basketball-wise, just learning how to win, I think, was the biggest thing that I took away from UCLA, more so than skill. you really learn and how much really goes into winning. MVP, MVP. Four years of college, kind of learn how to be an adult, live on your own. Comparing college to NBA, uh, a lot, a lot different. College, you're learning a lot. You only got 30 games um, in a season where in the NBA, you got a lot, you got 82. So um, it's a lot different, um, but there's nothing that I can't handle. The story I would like to tell is just how I live my life. Okay. Mm. How do you live your life? <laughs> Very free. Okay. Free from constraints. Let's go with the flow. What up, Heat Nation? It's Jaime Hawkins here. I'm taking you through my first media day. Hopefully, it's going to be very exciting. Going to play a lot of games and have a lot of fun. And a lot more heat wins. <laughs> All right, we're, we're locked. You sound wonderful. Do I sound like a radio host? We'll find out in a few <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you know, being a part of this, this, this is where I wanted to be. This is where I wanted to come to. I wanted to see what this was all about. And, you know, I'm very excited to be here now. I think basketball is special because you don't really need a lot. You know, you could just go out to the park with, you know, a ball and by mm -hmm. yourself. And, you know, it ends up being a blank canvas. <laughs> I used to be a globe trotter. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> oh. Great <laughs> players that you've become friends with already. Yeah, I would say Orlando. I think just because he's got his locker right next to mine. And yeah, we, we've been hitting it off. Special guest. Yeah, a little cameo, my man. You talking to him? Orlando. Talk to him. Talk to the people, man. How's your media day going? How's my media day yeah. going? My media day is going great. Yeah. You see the hair? Come on now. See the hair? You see the fit? You see the, you see the come on now. You kidding me? What are we talking about? You, you see kidding the swag? Me? They won't let us wear our swag. But we will eventually, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's good. It's a good day. It's a great day. Great day. Great day to be a heater. Yep. Talk to him. We're on the way. We're on the move. I'm a hot kid junior. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. I'm excited to learn from that one right there. Number 42. Very excited to learn from him. He's been in the league a long time. Long time, long time. I mean, your favorite player coming into the draft was Jimmy Butler. That's, yeah. that, that was a real thing. That wasn't like a, a thing you said to, to kiss up to the heat. Like your, nah. your favorite player was Jimmy Butler. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. I mean, I was a Jimmy Butler fan all the way back, you know, when he was in Chicago. So I, I've been following him for a long time. Um, you know, I think just guys that play like him, like him, DeMar DeRozan was another guy. I've always loved Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, guys like that. That just, you know, I don't know. They're just assassins. I know you're out here waiting, but I just wanted to bring you something, bro, to make sure you don't ever second guess yourself. Thanks, bro. Believe in yourself. I'll put, I'll put, the, I, I'll put this on my, on my uh, record player. Oh, on your rec you got a record player? Yeah, I put, all, I put a bunch of stickers on there. Put it on there. Wow, respect. OK. You ever felt like you're doing well, it, man? Hey, listen, I got a gift from the embassy. I did nothing for you. Don't stop. Don't stop. Wow, don't stop believing. How's your first media day going so far? What is it's it? going well. I'm taking a lot of pictures. Yeah, a lot of questions, too. 
See, the thing about the questions, you know, I get a lot of the same questions. I get a lot of the same questions. Like, how do you like Miami? It's, guys, I love it here. I love it, all right? There's my answer. I love Miami. Respecto. Yeah. That's what, do that, but do that into the camera. Into the camera. Respecto Patron. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was dressing up as Harry Potter. The boy who lives has come to die. Be an actor. Three, two, one. What are you chasing? Well, isn't that a question? What am I chasing? That's a deep question. You know, this is where we get really deep. What am I chasing? Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm chasing my dream of just being an NBA player. Um, you know, I'm here now. And you know, I'm just enjoying it. I want to see how far I can go. We got the whole crew and them. We got the whole. No, I got a. I'm, sh I'm shooting a documentary right now. I love it. I, yeah. love, I would watch it. Thanks. We got one view. I think I enjoyed you guys following around me the most. Um, that was a lot of fun being able to, uh, you know, shoot some cool content uh, for the fans to see. You know, get a behind-the-scenes sneak peek. Um, and I hope the fans enjoy it. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for following me along my first media day. Now I'm off to Boca Raton. See you guys there. So for you guys that don't know, this is my reality show that I'm getting with the Heat. Got the crew over there. She's filming me right now. And you guys better all go check it out. Because we're going to go. Is there going platinum in like uh, TV industry? What's that called? Viral. Maybe an Emmy? Viral. Viral? We might get an Emmy after this. We don't know. What up, Heat Nation? We're here. Morning of, first day of training camp. Let's go. Let's go take a ride. I spent my last night watching Dwayne Wade highlights, getting ready. Getting ready for the day, first day of my new job, and the rest of my journey, hopefully. So, and then uh, cheddar cheese, please. Cheddar cheese. Okay. Breakfast of champs, right here. I think what I'm most excited for is just to be in the, be in the same gym as all the guys and really get to know everyone, build that chemistry and that bond. You guys saw it. Look at that. Amazing, yeah. man. Amazing. Appreciate it. What training camp number is this for you? Six. Oh wow. When do you start? When do you stop keeping count? Okay. 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 TV. When I'm done with my career, I'm just gonna start my new career as a reality television host. Thank you. So I already got one person on my staff. Let's see how many people we can get join my reality show when it's all said and done. Maybe I'll just come every year and just give you guys a tour of the, what up, man? Of, of, of a day in the life of a Miami heater. I've heard a lot about the team. I was a fan before I even got here. Um, and I think just knowing what that takes and knowing about the culture beforehand really gave me a head start uh, when I was coming here to play. Get organized, get organized! Mentality-wise, work ethic-wise, competitive spirit-wise, he fits right into our group. There's nothing really we have to adjust from that standpoint. He makes all the right plays. He kind of plays like a, a vet. You know, I think that's what that experience in the NCAA tournament gets you. He, he's very, very smart. He knows where the ball has to go, and he's confident in his abilities. He sticks to that, and he, he, he definitely plays to his strength. That's nice. Good. Perfect. Perfect. He doesn't look like a rookie to me. Like, you know what I mean? He's. He's, uh, he looks really comfortable, he's very confident, but he's also willing to learn. I think that's just gonna be, you know, uh, one of his greatest assets coming into the season, just how confident he is early on. You know, for a guy that size coming out of college, you know, you think they gotta adjust to the NBA game, but, you know, all this work that we put in throughout the throughout the summer and uh, the off season, he's definitely shown that he can lead a squad to a victory. Yeah, I just wanted to feel like I was able to play at this level with all the, all the guys, um, and I think, I think I felt good about it. That was a hell of a shot, Drew. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Get out of it, get out of it. Yeah, I'm in the gap, I'm in the gap. Back 
Caleb, I got Caleb over here. Here you go. Hey! Let's ride! I got you. I'm gonna tell you my better this time. Get back, get back! Timing, timing, timing. Uh, we have a mixture of old guys and younger guys. You got the young guys, keep the old guys young. You got the old guys who teach the young guys. He was just talking to me about post defense and how, how he would uh, guard the post. And you know him in the post, he, he's a tough guy to score against. So learning from him is, is great. How would you sum up your first NBA training camp? I would sum it up as like basketball school. It's like school for basketball. You're just learning so much. Um, you're preparing for an 82 question test. And you know, you got this week to prepare, you got the preseason games. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, oh. Good action, good action. All this just to prepare to, you know, get to the playoffs and, and, and win a championship. And so that's what it feels like. It was a lot of fun. Uh, got to build a lot of great relationships with a lot of guys and build that chemistry early. Watch on three, watch on three. Watch on. After practice, I do a lot of treatment in the training room. I want to play a long career in the NBA, so that starts with taking care of your body. Uh, this is your this is your workspace, this is your temple. Uh, take care of it the best you can, whether that's ice, um, get stretched, do mobility, and things like that. A lot of guys just been helping me so much, making this process seamless and easy. And it's great to learn from veterans. And we got a lot of veterans on this team. Um, and someone told me coming into camp, you know, it's always great to have good vets um, because they make your life a lot easier. They can make it harder or they can make it easier. But for now, they're making it pretty smooth for me. What is your level of excitement to start your first NBA season with the Heat? My level of excitement on a scale of 1 to 10 has got to be an 11. You guys get the joke? Maybe you didn't. It went over your head. What was the joke? Can you explain it? Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm an 11. Oh, that's the joke? Yeah, my number, my number is 11. Oh! Boom. 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 Boom